Hello, our dear football lovers! You are on the Inside Football channel. It's been a while since we heard any news from Liam Messi's sons. Despite them having been training at the Paris Saint Germain Academy for more than six months. Most recently, Lino posted a cute photo together with his sons at home. The boys are all laying around in pajamas, enjoying time spent together. Though sometimes everything feels completely off. Their happy father is not sharing the sports successes of his kids at all. Back in September, all three lads were assigned to PSG Academy after Liam Messi himself signed a contract with the club. Then, guess what? We still haven't seen these guys performing in the red and blues jerseys. Do they even attend the academy? Who for bad sharing highlights of little Messi's? Will they become professional footballers in a way? Today we are gonna find it out. And as for now, you have to subscribe to our project so you will support us and not miss the latest top-notch videos. Alright, you are ready? Then let's get going! The news of Thiago, Matteo and Theodore Messi joining PSG Academy have spread all over the world's sports media. However, no further announcements were made since September. Where are they? How do they train and perform? The main issue here is that we really have no evidence of the little successors of Messi actually playing for their respected institution. Nobody leaked any clips from training sessions or bits from games on the internet. Is there really nothing to show us? Throughout the time the guys live in Paris, we've seen them with the ball in many places, but not at the academy. Here are all three, for example, playing with the ball next to the Eiffel Tower while on walk. Children seem to have lots of fun, but why not share this from the perspective of a training facility? Are there really such strict rules and such tough managers in the Parisian academy that no information can be taken out? We don't think so. Of course, Liam Messi could simply forbid filming his children so that no one in the media would discuss their game, make fun of fails, and exalt victories. High attention to youngsters can negatively affect their career paths, and most often it does. Kids start feeling like already made stars and their progress stops as a result. If this is true, then all the guys' little or big victories will remain behind closed doors until they grow up at least a little. But bear in mind, when they will be involved in all sort of international tournaments, there will be nothing to hide. We can finally assess their level in action. Until we have it, be content with little. Not bad skills were shown by Matteo Messi in the last vacation video. An accurate pass, a powerful strike for his age, good dribbling. Well, why not becoming the future world football star? You can't go far with talent alone, so it needs to be developed and hard work must be done in training sessions. The same thing all peers at the academy do. Living room football? Yeah, the masses have such a video. No furniture and appliances were damaged while filming. Here, Thiro shows great tackling trying to take the ball away from Dad, and Matteo once again confirms that he has strong shooting. Thiago looks a little clumsy against their background, after all, he doesn't have such a lightning fast reaction as his younger brothers. Sometimes Antonella even laments how Leo treats his boys. Let the kids win! With such a message, Messi's wife posted a clip with her home workout. Indeed, Leo doesn't give them an easy walk. Even the world's best defenders cannot take the ball from him, so what do you expect from little players? By the way, in this one, Thiago Messi tries himself as a goalkeeper. And he doesn't do magic, let's be honest. The non-leaking policy within the academy leads to sad thoughts. Do the boys really not show anything worth our attention? They can't just hide actual triumphs from us, can they? it starts to slowly seem like they can't remember a thing about football in Paris. Such silence especially contrasts against the background of Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., who is mastering the first year at the Manchester United Academy and already starting to make the difference there. Right, at first we've heard nothing about Cristiano's progress. In the first months, he adapted to a new country, new team and coaches. But now we can clearly see the guy picking up the pace. He scores goals and shows himself very well in the squad, not losing himself against the other guys and practicing his football knowledge. 
Don't forget to check out the video in which we talk about the latest updates on Cristiano Jr., if you haven't yet. What matters most is that they do not hesitate to show this progress to the world. Cristianinho is discussed all over the community and this doesn't prevent him from getting better, doesn't distract from the most important thing, which is football. He surely has weaknesses, but he doesn't hide them and works on improving gaming aspects. Cristiano Sr., of course, makes a powerful role model for him. What prevents the Messi brothers from doing the same? Perhaps Antonella brings them to training and games, but doesn't watch them live? Or do the guys go to classes accompanied by nannies and those are not so interested in them training and playing? From the side of Messi's offsprings, we see only family games and rare home workouts, and even those turn into pampering. Perhaps the guys are already looking towards some other sport activities. There was a time when Antonella took them to tennis. Maybe one of the boys has what it takes to become the new Roger Federer? Who knows? If one of Lee's children will really be interested in another sport, these options should not be ruled out either. Anto and Leo are not leaving an impression of parents who force their children to do something against their will. And what about football? Will any of the Messi brothers really be able to follow in their dad's footsteps? Is there still hope for Lino or the whole trio soon to be done with football, if this has not already happened? Starting with the youngest one, Theo is still small to give up on him. He's only four years old, so we don't know what sort of footballer he can possibly be. How can he hit the ball and whether he can dribble like his old man? Maybe it was he who was given the great chunk of father's talent. While Thiero is too young, he is already showing interest in the number one game. And this is quite commendable. We consider witnessing some cool highlights from him son. The guy would get stronger physically and we'll see the way he's gonna handle the ball. Matteo already impressed us with his magnificent football skills, and it's clear that he has a pure joy of playing the game. The guy juggles with pleasure, possesses the ball well, and most importantly, plays with sincere passion. With pleasure. It'll take a little more time for Matteo to shine in his squad and provide us with his first victories. The boy certainly has potential that needs to be realized. This September, Matteo Messi is about to celebrate his 7th birthday, not far before making some noise in his team, right? Unfortunately, no optimistic predictions can be set for Thiago. It seems that he doesn't really need professional football in his life. Of course, everything can change, but so far, facts are facts. At the Academy of Barcelona, the lad tried hard to reveal himself, somehow impressed his opponents, but over time it all came to naught. This year, the guy will already be 10 years old. Many of the boys we mentioned on this channel by this age had already begun to master their talent in all its glory and get their first serious achievements. As far as we don't know Tiago's approach in detail, we rely on journalists, who won't keep silent about the star of Leo Messi's son shining. No doubts, all the world's media would dwell on this. The football legend has a worthy ear of his greatness. Although we keep waiting and nothing happens. It's something of a downgrade, to be fair, bearing in mind that the guy could really have a bright future in football at Barcelona. However, if Thiago is really not particularly eager to take it to the next level, no one forbids him from rolling the ball just for entertainment. The guy can afford it. In case you forgot, his dad provided several generations of the family with his money. Therefore, maybe we should not expect much. Without a desire, it's unlikely that we will be able to get something notable. Do you think one of the Messi brothers will be able to become a professional footballer and build a remarkable career? Our bet is on the middle son, Matteo Messi. There's a spark in him, the necessary skill, the will to realize his potential. He looks the most promising of all three, very agile, active, with a lightning speed reaction. We are waiting for your opinions in the comments below. Do you believe in the secret power of Tiago Messi or are you waiting for Theodore Messi to grow up? These should be also shared, so let's discuss this topic. That is it for today, friends. It was Inside Football. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.